That's one thing about San Jose. There's no signs, but it's not that hard to get around. Things are in English. There's some signs like on the freeways and stuff where it's in English and Spanish. And it, it, Costa Rica is a really cool city and you can get around pretty easily. So that's not too bad. What got me to go is the webcast. I, I didn't wait around. I was looking at your site only for six, six to eight months. That's good. And uh, I was watching the webcast and uh, John Adams said, and you can use this, John Adams said on one program, he says, there, there was a guy looking at the site for 12 years. He said, oh my gosh, he said, and you haven't gone anywhere yet? And he said, oh no, I said, I, I've emailed a few women. And that. I didn't email anybody or write anybody. I went over there, I said, telling myself, if I meet the right girl, the chemistry is going to be there. Mm. And that's what happened. Peter wants to know, can Americans get around very easily in San Jose? Are the signs in English? Yeah, what signs? That's one thing about San Jose. There's no signs. Yeah, you're <laughs> driving around looking for a street sign. There are no street signs in San Jose. And it's really difficult. You, you have to look at like the building and landmarks, but there, did they put signs there yet? I haven't been there in a couple of years. Last time I was there, they had no signs. Still no signs? No signs. Yeah, just like the string numbers, but nobody ever cares about that. They don't care about <laughs> avenues or string numbers. You yeah. just say from the McDonald's, 200 meters left, and yeah. so on. And that way you can just get by by yourself <laughs> and explore the area. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how FedEx does it in San Jose because there's like no signs. I don't know how they deliver any packages or anything. It cracks me up. But it's not that hard to get around. I mean, things are in English. There's some signs like on the freeways and stuff where it's in English and Spanish. And it, it, Costa Rica is a really cool city and you can get around pretty easily. So that's not too bad. Oh my God, I think I may buy me a house here on the beach or somewhere. Because as you walk the streets of Costa Rica, and I travel around the globe for too many reasons, lately for pleasure, you value the culture by looking at the faces of the people on the street. And when you walk on the street of Costa Rica, you don't see miserable people, you see happy people. If you look at their facial complexions, about their smiles on their face, about their normal everyday work, you know that this is a good place to be because it looks like they're mostly happy everyday people. It was beautiful. Zip lines were awesome. Uh, they were a little short compared to some other zip lines like in, in Jamaica or in Cancun or in Texas, but they were breathtaking scenery. And the thing they have on the uh, zip lines different than the others, I like the terraza, the one that swings over the trees and back. And I like the one that Superman where you're actually flying with laying down and flying on a long stretch of land looking down at the from a very high altitude into the rainforest under you that was beautiful. I like the cold springs and um, the waterfalls. The first one was a little hot 109 but I like hot hot water I, I could take it and I enjoyed it. And then as you go down the, the bathtubs and it start cooling down, I think it cools down to like 100 or so. And 
and the people are so relaxed, nobody is looking at nobody, everybody enjoying their day. experience the romantic adventure of a lifetime. Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. Check out our website at CostaRicaWomen.com If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.